The talk is about integrating the ICF framework for comprehensive hearing and functioning assessment using the Hear Command tool to enhance clinical practice. What is Hear Command tool? It's a new broad questionnaire designed for self-assessment of hearing loss, functioning, communication, and conversation ability. It was developed in 2021 to 22 based on the experts and patients perspective using 108 participants in the USA, Germany, the Netherlands, and Egypt. And it was validated in 2023 to four in the US, Germany, and Egypt with an additional 215 subjects. It is available in English, German, and Arabic in paper pencil format, and the digital format is accessible by July 2024. It is based on the World Health Organization's International Classification of Functioning, Disability, and Health, so-called ICF framework, Corsets for Hearing Loss. ICF model is a biopsychosocial model, which means except for typical evaluation of body functions and structures for the hearing health condition evaluation, activities and participation limitations caused by the uh, health condition and also the effect of environmental factors and personal factors are all counted to um, describe a health condition, which would give a very broad perspective. ICF is a general concept at the beginning and, and then it gets more and more detail as it's followed. For example, um, activities and participation has many accepts, so among many would be communication. Communication has so many as aspects as well. Among many, would one would be conversation and use of communication devices and techniques. And among many, it would be discussion and then discussion itself. It's discussion with one person and many people. As you see, a general model is uh, made of very um, small detailed concepts, so-called categories. ICF Corset for Hearing Loss is the connection of most important relative categories among the 1,400 ICF categories. It has two collections. The brief one is the collection of 27 categories, which are the most important aspects of hearing loss and its consequences on the patient's health condition. And the comprehensive one is the one that is collection of 117, and it would give a broad uh, perspective. Body functions, which are targeting impairment and problems with functionality of the patient, uh, includes 48 items or questions in this questionnaire. Using these 48 items, we are able to cover 100% of the categories which are covered in ICF, which means we would have the maximum number of categories required to have a broad perspective of hearing loss itself and its consequences. Similarly, with these um, 48 items, we are able to cover 73% uh, of the um, categories of comprehensive. Overall, 90 items were designed for each of for these domains, and with that, we covered 85% of the brief and 44% of the comprehensive categories. Additionally, we have 30 items which are related to the personal factor part and includes general demographics and hearing present and past status. We define the following applications for um, hair command tool among many. It can integrate the ICF framework, framework into patient assessment and patient reported outcome in clinical and non-clinical settings. It is applicable for before after treatment, for example, before and after hearing aid fitting or cochlea implant surgery. And it can be used as a systematic therapy corridor for documentation and quality assurance of rehabilitation and audiological services by focusing on functioning and disability. Um, the outcome of our validation and the result of the research we have conducted on the 215 subjects in the three countries it's um, given here. The range of the age of the subjects was 20 to 84 with the mean of 58 and 27% of our subjects were normal hearing, 41% of them were hearing impaired unaided one with mild to moderate hearing loss and 32% of them were hearing impaired aided ones, hearing aid users which have mild, moderate or moderately severe degree of hearing loss. And the average PTA of the overall subjects was 31, ranging from minus 2 to 64.
we perform factor analysis on the responses of the subjects that were collected. We could extract 13 factors um, and divide them to two major groups. One would be hearing related items and second would be non-hearing related items. Hearing related items include items that are referring to auditory processing functionality, sound quality compatibility, listening and communication functionality, and the non-hearing related items are related to interpersonal interactions, social determinants, other sensory integration functionality, and cognitive functionality. For example, for factor one, which is auditory processing functionality, the responses are zero to four, no problem, mild, moderate, severe, complete. And on the x-axis, you would see each item, each question, and this is the distribution of the responses of the subjects to each of the items. To summarize the outcome of this long questionnaire, uh, we defined an outcome score, which is R of 10. We sum the result of the responses, basically 0 to 4, for all those items and multiplied it by a coefficient which for the 37 items of hearing related ones, for example, we use 0.067, and then 41 items of non-hearing and 32 items of speech perception, um, similarly to hearing related score calculation. Speech perception itself is a subset of hearing related score. The result of the score distribution showed that there is a significant difference between the scores reported by normal hearing subjects and um, impaired, unaided, and aided ones, also for a speech perception score. This is a suggestion made to classify the disability degree um, based on the self-report and usage of these outcome scores, and this highly depends on the population and the distribution of the scores. So this, these values are extracted only based on this population and inclusion of uh, these specific hearing impairment groups. So for example, if someone's hearing related score range is between zero to 0 0.7, this person did not claim uh, hearing related problems or uh, simply um, has no disability based on just purely based on these scores. Thank you.